This video discusses the options in the At Risk Utilities drop-down on the At Risk ribbon. As in all add-ins in the Decision Tools suite, the Utilities drop-down list includes items for unloading the add-in or loading other Decision Tools add-ins. It also allows you to change application settings. Each of these settings is for the at-risk application as a whole, not for the particular simulation model you are working on. These settings remain in effect on your PC indefinitely, until you decide to change them again. As you can see from the Application Settings dialog box, there are many categories of settings, and you can expand or collapse any category by clicking its plus or minus sign. One particular setting you might want to change is in the Reports group. By default, At Risk places report worksheets in a new workbook. If you would rather have it place them in the same workbook as your model, you can select the Active Workbook option. Again, if you do so, this setting will remain in effect until you change it back. Most of the default settings are perfectly adequate, and chances are you won't need to change them. However, At Risk gives you plenty of possibilities, so don't be afraid to experiment. If you do experiment and you then want to restore the original default settings, this is easy. You just click the Save icon on the bottom left and select Reset. The Windows item displays the list of all open at-risk windows. I will create a few windows in this model to show how it works. There is the list of windows that are open. To see any one of them, I can activate it. I can rearrange the windows, or I can close them all. The Open Simulation File item lets you open a RSK5 file from an earlier version of At Risk. This type of file was used to store simulation results, especially when the simulation was large and you didn't want to embed the results in your model file. The Clear At Risk Data item opens the following dialog box where you can clear various items from your model workbook. Here it helps to realize that if you open an Excel file while At Risk is open, even a file that has nothing to do with At Risk simulation, and you then save the file, certain at-risk settings will be embedded in the file. When you open this file again, you might be puzzled if you are asked about at-risk settings, thinking that this file has nothing to do with at-risk. In this case, you can use the clear at-risk data command and probably just check the settings option and then save the file again. Then it will have no embedded at-risk settings. For the current model, I have run a simulation, so I will clear the simulation results. The Swap Out Functions item is a very handy utility that allows you to share at-risk models with colleagues who don't own at-risk. If an at-risk model is open that contains various at-risk functions, such as Risk Normal, Risk Output, and others, and you then use the Swap Out Functions command, you will see the following dialog box. If you click OK, a formula such as equals Risk Normal of 2000, 200 will become equals 2000. That is, the distribution will be replaced by its static value, usually the mean. All other at-risk functions, such as risk output, will disappear as well. Now that's static. There is no risk output function. Also, most of the buttons in the at-risk ribbon have been disabled. 
but there is a new swap in functions button on the left side of the ribbon. You can click it to restore the at risk functions. If you save the file with the at risk functions swapped out, the functions will be remembered, but your colleagues without at risk won't see them. They will see only the static values. However, if you open the file again with at risk loaded, you will be asked whether you want to swap the functions back in so that you can restore the model to its original form. Finally, the convert workbook item lets you convert spreadsheet models created with Oracle's Crystal Ball version 7.3 or higher into at risk format. To use this feature, however, you must have Crystal Ball and at risk installed on the same machine. Also, this feature is not compatible with 64-bit versions of Excel, at least not yet. You typically won't need to use this item. The reason is that when you open a Crystal Ball workbook when at risk is running, and at risk detects that Crystal Ball is installed, you will automatically be asked if you want to convert your model.